Hello and welcome to Crazy Hank TV. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite shows of all time, a show I never get tired of watching, and that's The Office. I love The Office. I loved it from the start, even though the first season is kind of hard to watch because it's awkward. Uh, the first, I think, the six episodes of the first season. I liked it. I'm glad it came back, and I'm glad I stuck with it to the end. Uh, but I think with The Office, like a lot of comedies, we overlook how hard it is for the actors to deliver their lines and to, to be believable and to have that comedic timing. And The Office had great, great actors. I mean, the show worked because the actors were just so talented. But today we're going to talk about two actors from the show, uh, John Krasinski and uh, Jenna Fisher, who played Jim and Pam. Um, that's who we're going to concentrate on today. Not that the other actors weren't great, but these two did a fantastic job because you, you honestly believe that they were in love with each other. You know, other shows try and do it. Other shows have, you know, oh, will they or won't they? And, and this was the will or won't, won't they. I mean, the first three seasons, you're like, oh, come on. You, it's obviously, they love each other. You know, they had the looks with each other. They playing the practical jokes on on Dwight. It just, you could tell, but, you know, Pam was devoted to, well, I don't know if she was devoted to Roy, but she was engaged to Roy for, what, 35 years, 40 years? And... When Jim made his, you know, his move, he, you know, he gave her, he gave uh, Pam a kiss and she said, oh no. And then he went, you know, off to work somewhere else. And then he felt, he started dating Karen. And, and at that point, uh, Pam had broke up with Roy. So it's the, oh, they're not going to get together. They're not going to get together. But again, the, the actors, you know, they just, they just, you just, you wanted them to get together. It wasn't forced on us. It, like a lot of TV shows, they force the the couples to get together, then they get together, and the show's ruined. You lose that, you lose that sexual tension. You lose that, you know, the, it, it, you can go over history and look at some shows that have done it. And you go, uh, and then they try to break them up. And then it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But this one, you really... I don't know anyone who didn't want Pam and Jim to get together. It just was, it was the thing. And so finally season four, they're a couple, you know, and, and they're at work and they're making it work and they're still in love and everything's happy. The years go by and, and then season six comes along and, and they're, they're going to get married. And that, that episode with Niagara, it's a two part episode, probably ranks up there with the best episodes of, uh, of, of loss of, of the office ever. I mean, it was just an amazing, it was funny. It was heartwarming. Um, and when he takes her off and he goes to Niagara Falls and they get married there and then come back to the church and get married. I'm sorry. I'm getting emotional again. It just, it, it, you know, it, okay. I'm all better now, but it just was one of those things where you just go, Oh my God, they're just and the, again, it's the way they look at each other. It's it's that's acting. That it, 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 you, 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 uh, I, I don't know how many people thought that they were a real couple in real life because it was so believable. Um, you have the, then you know, but then you have the later years. You know, the, the final season, Jim's off working in Philadelphia, Pam's still you know in Scranton, and then there's tension. And again, I I hated those episodes. They had to have them because there's no. There's no uh, storybook ending. There's no, you know, couples, we, you know, anyone who's been in a relationship knows that you're going to fight. No matter how much in love you are, you're going to fight. But it was hard for the viewer, like myself and other viewers, to watch because it was like watching mom and dad fight. And who wants to watch mom and dad fight? I don't want to watch mom and dad fight. But again, they did a great job. I think what was so uncomfortable, they did such a great job in their acting that you you really believe, okay, they're gonna break up. They're, they're gonna break, what? no, don't break up, Pam and Jim. No, 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 I can't take it. Don't do it, Jim, don't, don't, please don't break up. No, it was tough. And again, it comes down to the acting. I mean, hats off to them. It was it was fantastic. And then in the end, they, 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 you know, they worked everything out and they were the couple that we wanted. I can't, it said it was believable. Couples do fight. But I, I got to give you got to give it the hats off to uh, Jenna Fisher and John Krasinski for doing a fantastic job as Pam and Jim, two great characters. I, I'll say this: I'll say this: the greatest couple are they the greatest couple in television history? I mean, you can leave it in your comment section. I'm trying to think off the top of my head, and I gotta say, you know, maybe Lucy and Desi, maybe, but because they were actually married, but. 
Pam and Jim, for two people who were not in a relationship and not married and, and, and not truly in love, did a fantastic job with those characters. And that's the reason The Office worked. And ha again, I, I, couldn't, I can't say any more. Thanks for watching. I'm out. We'll be back later on this week. Bye.